Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video showing how to set up a footprint chart in MotiveWave. So first thing we're going to do is open up what chart you want, obviously, to put a footprint on. And then we're going to go up here to study, volume based, and go down to volume imprint. Um, now that we have this up, the main menu um, or the general settings, it has the ability to have two columns. Um, we can have a tick interval, so if you want to condense NASDAQ down a little bit, you can put it at two ticks, or if you're doing crypto, um, you can make a custom um, tick interval. And then for the imprint count, um, this is how many footprint bars it's going to show. So with 20, it's going to show 20, 40, it's going to show 40. Um, I'm going to change it to be 40, because I want at least 40 footprint bars to show. And the first column, I'm going to make a bid ask, and I'm going to enable the second column and leave it at delta. So I'm going to click create so we can see what this looks like. And as you can see, anything before the 40 bars is just um, candlestick bars. And when you zoom in, you can actually see behind the footprint bars, there's still a candlestick. So we're gonna to wanna to remove that. So we're gonna go up here to this and go down to no bars. Um, that will remove those candlesticks from the background um, as it does have this bar right here so we can see where the open and the close is. Um, next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna to go to the settings here, click all settings and go back um, into it. First thing we're gonna do is go to the bid ask I'm going to remove this background as I actually don't really care to see it um, as I mainly will look for delta for any of the coloring or for the size of the delta. So I'm going to uncheck this show fill here and then I'm also going to uncheck this point of control outline. You can have the outline stay if you um, like to view the outline but I don't really care to see it so I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to go to label align and put middle. I'm going to click apply so now we can see we have the bid and the ask here and then we have the numbers um, right there so that's pretty much it for that and then for the delta i'm going to also remove the point of control here and then i'm going to enable the histogram and make the label align middle and i'm going to click apply now we can see we have the bid ask um, put footprint with a, another column for the delta here. And that all looks pretty good to me. And the next thing we're going to want to do is I'm going to actually drag this so we can see the whole menu. Um, and I'm going to go here to totals. So totals is where we can put all of the footprints stuff here at the bottom, all the numbers. So if we go to show totals and click apply, um, you can see we have by default the volume, the delta, and the delta change here. So I'm gonna click update and I'm gonna go up to volume here and remove that just so it doesn't show underneath that since we already have this volume here. So I'm gonna go back into the settings and go back to totals so depending on what we want to show we will go into here and click on um, anything that we want to show so we can show delta percentage show min and max delta um, show time per bar which they're all going to be the same essentially um, and we can do whatever we want with these. So for the most part, I just like to see volume delta and um, you can also and also cumulative delta and volume per second. So I'm gonna just leave it at volume, volume per second, um, delta, cumulative delta, and I'm actually gonna remove the delta change one. So we're just gonna see that. We're gonna see volume, cumulative delta, delta and then the volume per um, second there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want it to show the imbalances here. So we're going to go into, um, let's go back to, let's make this bigger. There we go. There's the imbalance. So we're going to go here to imbalance, click enable on all 
three of these here. And depending on what you're trading, you're obviously going to want to change this um, imbalance percentage um, based on how the market trades. Um, but first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here and change this color. So I want this to be a bright blue instead of a green. And then for this red, um, let's make the red, let's go into this red, go to the settings, more colors, RGB. Let's go 253, 59, 49. That would get a bright red there. There, and click apply. And just so you can see, I'm going to, let's make this 100%. And let's make the delta filter 20 so it doesn't filter out too much. And then let's go back on the chart and see if we can um, see anything here. So I'm not seeing anything currently. I'm going to go back into these settings, go to imbalance, and let's change this to 50. Bit ask. We have show imbalance here. We have show imbalance. There we go. So now, since it's low volume, um, the delta filter is going to filter out most of the signals. So now I'm going to put it back to um, 100. There we go. So now we're going to see a little bit more signals. Put it back to probably 200 is good. Um, now we can see where we have these imbalances. You can see we have this exhaustion print right here um, and all of that. So that's just a good way to kind of be able to see those um, imbalances there, um, but obviously change the percentage till it shows enough times, but also it doesn't show too much. Um, but that's pretty much it. So now you have a footprint, you have the imbalances highlighting delta with a delta profile, and then you have the volume cumulative delta, delta, and then the speed or the volume per second.